technological micro, microscopic machines with the capacity to reproduce at a truly astonishing rate. Their origin is unknown, but they are man-made. The machine head virus is not indestructible. It can be destroyed. The evacuation of Montreal, Canada earlier this year and the subsequent detonation of the My name is Kimberly Stride, Dr. Kimberly Stride. I've been engaged in research at MIT into the cause and effects of nanotechnological infestation when the virus struck. My assistant, Orville McCardle, Orville the Geek, and I found refuge in the isolation and means necessary to destroy the machine head virus. We had located the source of the virus and built a vehicle, flippantly called the Vulpal Blade, to transport a nuclear bomb into the blighted heart of the machine head. But we had a problem. To bring the Vorpal Blade to its full operational capacity required a sophisticated artificial intelligence. In short, a brain to guide it along the torturous and highly dangerous route to its goal. I had decided to upgrade the Institute's CPU with encoded sequences from my own brain patents and then implant this into the Vorpal Blade's operating system. But Orville had ideas of his own. I couldn't move, and my head hurt like hell. The geek had found us a brain, all right. Unfortunately, it was mine. I had no choice. The bomb was primed and the geek had his finger on the auto destroy. There was nothing else I could do but ride that baby into the heart of the beast. 